Hello good people welcome to my channel it's Magnet B. I've been away for about a year and now I'm back to discuss more on online working. Guys if you work online there is a way that you can be paid either PayPal, Skrill, Pioneer depending on your preference and the company's preference. So guys today we're going to discuss on specifically Pioneer and I'm going to tell you why myself I prefer Pioneer to be the best payment method. Of course we have PayPal flexible but it also has its advantage and disadvantages for example these days i can see paypal if you are not linked your email to paypal you might not receive your funds you might not be able to claim your funds after some time so what i can advise you guys those who prefer being paid by paypal always link your emails and confirm them you go to the settings icon you link your email and then you click on confirm the email a link is going to be sent to your email you log into your email you click the link log into paypal using the paypal password and your email will be confirmed so that you can be receiving payments actually while i was away i know so many things happened yahoo's messed us up most yahoo accounts were closed and that led to many people losing their funding sources for example people were using paypal these guys if you have, you had not confirmed your email maybe i can say your your account just got lost and that's why i always prefer pioneer so in the case of Pioneer, Pioneer never pay via email. They pay via funding source. Let's say you are working with, let's say, Vabit, and then you are paid for the first time with Pioneer. If you, are paying, if you have been paid by Pioneer, even if you change the email in your Pioneer, the account will continue paying via Pioneer, by that specific Pioneer. Okay, let's assume that you are, you are being paid via Yahoo Gmail, via Yahoo Mail, I mean. And then the Yahoo mail was closed. If you, are, if you are being paid by Pioneer, you will continue being paid by Pioneer, even if you, you remove the Yahoo email from Pioneer. And actually another thing I really love about Pioneer, you can add up to 50 recipient bank accounts. Meaning, you can use, let's say, one Pioneer to do your businesses, pay your clients, pay your business associates. And another thing, Pioneer has no limitations. I mean, in a month, you are given about $100,000 to transact within a month. And that's a huge, huge amount of money. And PayPal is quite, quite less. So that's why I always encourage people to use Pioneer. Maybe Pioneer, it has a shortcoming that you cannot withdraw money or send money that's less than $50. But remember, it's secure. Once you verify your Pioneer account, you won't have any problems. Another thing that is very, very essential with Pioneer make sure you use the, the right date of birth. Because you'll always be asked that. Any, anytime you want to consult something from them, they'll ask you what's your date of birth, and then when, once you provide them with the date of birth, your issue is going to be sorted. So you make sure you verify it. You use the right address. Avoid PO box stuff. They don't require that and they don't need that. Just make sure you use a specific street address, right? And then another thing, you can add any bank. It doesn't mean equity and KCB. Any bank, you can add as many banks as you want. But remember, there is an option of banks, of the owner of the Pioneer account, and you can add recipient banks, meaning banks of your business associates. So that's another very good thing about Pioneer. And another thing I like about Pioneer, it's easy to secure. You can change the security questions anytime you want. You can change the email anytime you want. You can change the phone number without Pioneer raising security issues. And now guys, I'm going to screen share and show you how to add uh, bank accounts to Pioneer, how to change the security questions, how to change the email, how to secure your Pioneer. Let's get to the video guys. Yeah, guys, this is the profile of the Pioneer account. As you can see, we have some $14 here, but sadly, we can't we can't withdraw the money because it's less than $50. As we said, $50 is the minimum amount that you can with, with you can withdraw from Pioneer. And so, you can withdraw money from Pioneer to your specific bank account as the primary bank account, or you can withdraw the money to the recipient bank account. As we said, recipients, these are your clients or business associates that you want to send money to directly uh, just as you receive the money so you click on bank accounts to add a specific to add bank account to your own bank account click there and then these are the receiving bank accounts and this is your bank account you can add more bank accounts you can add up to three so two more 
recipient bank accounts you can add up to 50 bank accounts so we can add like 49 more bank accounts and remember each time you don't want to use the bank account or maybe you have terminated the contract with the specific client or the specific business associate you can always delete the bank account to create room for other bank accounts so click on add bank account personal the person from kenya select currency it's in cash and then click on next in this case input the phone number of the recipient the email of the recipient street and street number and remember never use pure box in this case you can use something like let's say the client is from Zika. you can say a street like with idea 32 maybe it's coming from Kisi, you can say Nyanchua 35 is coming from Juja, you can say Kashororo 23, something like that. Just make sure you don't use a PO box and you can always search these details on your Google. They are online. So input these details. Who does the bank account belong to? In this case, it's my business partner. Click that one. And then why are you sending funds to this account? In my case, I'm paying for business operation expenses then click next in this case the bank the bank enter the account details of the recipient you enter the name of the bank that belongs to the recipient and then the bank code the specific place the account of the bank code the specific place that your recipient opened the bank from let's say in this case it's juja you can just call juja and then it will just appear and then here you put the, you input the account holder's name and the bank account <coughs> this last part the most essential you input the date of birth or your date of birth that is if the pioneer account belongs to you and as, well, as i told you guys the bank the date of birth is very very this is very very essential because anybody you want to ask a question about in pioneer anytime you're going to live chat them they are going to ask for the bank for the date of birth i mean for the date of birth so make sure you input the right one and always use the right date of birth we completed the, the process uh the receiving bank account is, has been added sometimes it can take up to that minute sometimes less something like five minutes if you input the right details or sometimes it can take up to three days to get approved so click on back to ba back to bank accounts you can see I added this bank account like that year or one hour ago and it's already been approved. This is a new bank account. We are going to check after a few moments if it's it's going to be approved. So another th another thing I, I was to show you is about how to secure your pioneer account. Need a security key and I told you the main main thing is the date of birth. And in pioneer because you are dealing with money, remember the the codes are going to expire quickly in a very short duration of time so make sure you are quick on doing this and you input the codes make sure the sim card is almost always near you so we will release sending the codes so click on settings to change the email and the phone number click on profile you'll see your email and your phone number you can edit them out when receiving codes the recipient the, the phone number you have inputted in the two-step verification to change the password, security questions, and then phone number, you can click on security settings. Another thing to check is the verification center. Make sure you verify your pioneer to be receiving funds. To be receiving funds. So in this specific, in our specific pioneer, it's already verified, and uh, we uh, they don't require us to give them any details. Actually, always remember when you are inputting the address. Address is the main issue verify in pioneer make sure you use a specific street address on home address never use the public addresses like p.o box blah 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 they never like p.o box details so guys that's how you can that's how you can secure your bank account that's how you can secure your pioneer account and another thing if you click on withdraw the money the money will always go to your bank account as the pioneer owner and when you can add up to three bank accounts your bank accounts and you can add up to 50 recipient bank accounts recipients are people that you do businesses with so to be sure that you send the money to 
the right bank accounts click on bank accounts this is very essential if you want to send it to your own click on bank accounts withdrawal you can even send them to your own bank accounts like this one on the recipient bank accounts anywhere is approved money can be sent to that bank account let's say this first one you click on the bank say bank account and then click on make a payment and remember guys you can always delete the bank account anytime you don't want it on your paypal on your pioneer i mean click on this one to delete the bank account so guys that's how you can withdraw money to your specific bank account or the recipient's bank account thank you guys for staying with me have a nice day thank you guys for watching my video to the end for transcription captioning and article writing training consider contacting me by this phone number here so that we can solve those problems in transcription captioning and article writing until next time stay tuned keep subscribing to magnet b youtube channel i'm back guys